All right, that's it. Any more questions, my love? Master, do you think that President Trump would have handled the Afghanistan situation better? Yes, I believe so. But why does Master always side with President Trump? I'm not siding with President Trump. I'm siding with a good man. But you have to know, in the universal system, everything has a purpose. Everyone has an assignment. Oh. So Trump is assigned to make peace mm. and to take care of the Americans right now. I see. Because the Americans have been at war, have been many countries or been at war many times already. Mm. And all their tax money has been wasted on all these uh, killing fields. Right. And the system has been a little worn out also. Mm. People have been neglected. Um, so he's supposed to build up America again and take care of the people using their tax money for better purposes, for their own people. Their hard-earned money should be used for their better life, better comfort. Yeah, understand. Mm. God, heaven doesn't want any more war involving beautiful, handsome, young Americans going to any country, any strange place to die. Right. Because they are good at heart, the American people. They have been generous and kind yes. for charity and many other things. Mm. So Trump was designated for that. It's mandated by heaven. So Trump can do it better. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's for that. Mm. Therefore, the international community has more respect for him it than Mr. Biden. Yeah, it's true. Therefore, if he negotiates with other international community agents or countries, they will have a more cooperative attitude and action with him. Yeah, agree. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what it is. I'm not siding with anybody. Okay, Besides, if I'm siding, I'm siding for peace, for humanity, for compassion, mm -hmm. for the world where people live in harmony and enjoy what they deserve from their hard labor of work like the Americans. Do you understand now? Yes, understand, Master. Yeah. If it's not for President Trump, I would side with any other president who makes peace and who takes care of their own people. That's what a leader of a nation is for. Yeah. Taking care of your people and having good diplomatic relationship with other countries around the world. That is what a true leader is. And Trump was that. Trump is that. Trump is for that. Yes. So I'm not siding with him. You misunderstand. Okay, Master. Uh, by the way, I just make an example for you. Mm -hmm. Like there are many doctors, mm -hmm. maybe studying in the same school yeah. and uh, doing the same thing. But one doctor has uh, healing some. He can heal anybody. <laughs> and the other doctor is the same class, right. same study. But whoever he touches dies mm. or cannot get better, cannot recover. Yeah. This is very uh, simple like that. You got it. Yeah. Because everyone is assigned to do something, but many humans do not realize their purpose in life. Mm. That's why they err. That's why they did wrong. That's why they seize power to, to do other jobs they are not supposed to do. I see. Yes. Maybe Biden was good as the vice president, mm -hmm. and he did that two times already. Mm -hmm. It's time that he should not have gone into a higher position anymore. You mm -hmm. see that? Right. His talent or his purpose has been used up. Right. Yeah. Trump should have been in the White House. It's better for America and better for the world. I understand. Yeah, I'm not fighting. Okay, Master. If you can see well, Mr. Biden doesn't have the aura of the president, doesn't have this energy, oh, yeah, yeah, exuding from him as a president. All oh, right. Yeah, that's why the people don't respect him that much. Hmm. And even people who respected him now, they're waning. It's true. Yes, it's, we can yeah, see. Yeah, even the media before was supporting him now, almost like turn against him. Hmm. Right. Uh, well. <sighs> We hope for the best 
person to yeah. be in leadership. Yeah, I'm trying very hard to help with the present uh, government mm -hmm. and with Mr. Biden, but still, to drive a good car is different than mm -hmm. to drive a uh, not a good car right. <laughs> or a broken car or a car that's not supposed to be for that kind of road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understand. like four wheel drive, you can drive in rough terrain and mm -hmm. a hilly road. Yeah. Well, the other weaker car cannot, mm. no matter how good the driver is. Right. A uh, good driver needs also a good car. Yes, Master. I'm sorry <sighs> for the Americans. I'm not sorry to tell the truth, even though I offend the big power. What's the use of my life if I cannot tell the truth to perhaps awaken some people, at least? I'll show them the reality, the logic behind all the events in this world as much as I can mm -hmm. when I'm still alive. Yes, Master. I don't want to meddle in politics. Mm -hmm. I never liked politics, but this is not about politics. It's about humanity. Yeah. It's about peace in the world. It's about the suffering mm -hmm. of humans and animals everywhere. Do you understand? Yes, Master. Thank you for always showing the truth and then yeah. the true path. Yeah. Uh, we all should do. We all should tell the truth, nothing else. Yeah. If we pursue the truth inside, we have to also demonstrate the truth outside. Right. Yes. Right. We have to walk the talk. <laughs> yeah. What advice can Master give um, for the governments of the world? Ah, uh, in general. You must rule people with heart, with caring intention, with true, really loving dedication to your country and your people. Then people will feel it, even if you might make mistakes sometimes, yes. like every human. But people will feel that you are genuinely caring for them. Then they will forgive you, and then you can start a new um, mm -hmm. make repairment for that mistake. Right. But if, for example, if you need uh, tens of thousands of troops mm -hmm. or National Guard and fans and barbed wire around your uh, presidential palace on day one already, then you are not doing a good job. Yes, definitely. Then you should know people are not for you, not with you. Yes. And you should be more cautious in how you deal with uh, internal and international affairs. Right. That's a good sign of warning. Instead of trying to dig out a bigger hole of dividing people's hearts and minds, you know, within the country. Yeah. Maybe you have made mistakes. Or maybe you have been illegally installed into the presidential palace. But you could change. You could be genuinely caring, loving, and tending to the people, especially they are already in big, deep water with COVID-19 and, you know, looting, burning, and a lot of protests and turmoil around the country already. Yes. Because if you do things genuinely with love, people will feel it. Yeah, it's true. And they will support you and they will forgive you and mm -hmm. they will try to work with you. Yeah, for sure. But generally speaking. Yes, Master. And if, suppose, somehow you are in power, or you see the power by chance or by force or by circumstances, mm -hmm. and your citizens immediately want to flee from your regime, that means you're not doing a good job. Right. That means you're not following God's will and God's principle.
public torture and brutality against women have become Taliban's hallmark and social media has exposed it. The grainy video shows the woman Najiba awaiting her fate. Moments before her execution, she looks over her shoulder towards the person filming, the last person she will ever see. We can see our life is finished. We can see our dreams are finished. If we stay here, I, I can say that I would rather die to be a sex slave for Taliban. If they take us as their wives, you are only the sex slave for the Taliban. That's it. And I would rather die. The women we've been speaking to inside the country are now too frightened to talk on camera. Those brave enough to leave the house are wearing burqas reports of women already disappearing from public life. Women here seem to have largely melted away. Why do you think you're selling more burqas right now? Because the Taliban took over and all the women are afraid, he says. So that's why they're all coming in and buying burqas. If she's not wearing the abaya or she's wearing high heels, then it's the standard 40 lashes. Because of you. They've just told me to stand to the side because I'm a woman. The Taliban is back to its old ways. I'll start with this letter. It has a Taliban seal. What does it say? Parents should quote unquote gift their daughters as wives to Taliban fighters. They want to reward terrorists with wives, like women are some kind of an object to be gifted. Reports say this letter came from the Taliban's Cultural Commission. It asks Imams in captured areas to prepare a list a list of the names of women in their communities, girls who are above 15 years of age and widows under 45 years. The letter says they will be married to members of the Taliban. They'll be transported to Pakistan's Waziristan, where they will be converted to Islam and reintegrated. They want to impose an extreme interpretation of the Sharia law in Afghanistan. In fact, they're already doing it, implementing old rules in some of the districts. Women are not being allowed to step out alone. The Taliban says they must be accompanied by a male companion. They're being barred from receiving an education. The Taliban have clearly not evolved. I'm going to lose my everything that my father and I and my whole family has worked for, every girl has worked for, every person who has worked for in the last 20 years. This means losing your houses, losing your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, your identity as Afghan, everything. Uh, I feel weak right now. I, I feel like crying right now. I might be murdered by tomorrow. I might not be... I might not be able to go out anymore. I might not be able to mobilize anymore. I might not be able to work or educate myself. Is your view that there is a war being waged on women in the Arab world? Absolutely, Mehdi. I mean, when 12-year-old girls are dying, giving childbirth in Yemen, when 91% of Egyptian girls and women have had their genitals mutilated, when 16-year-old girls in Morocco are forced to marry their rapists so that their rapists can escape conviction. That is nothing short of a war. And if your co-citizens fear your government, fear your leadership, instead of praising it or at least accepting it quietly or openly, then you're not doing a good job. Yes, I, I agree. In general, it's like that. And it's logical. Yeah, it's logical and it's... It's um, common sense. Yeah, common sense and love and genuine dedication to your job, mm, to the people that you pledge in God's name to protect, to serve and to care for. Yeah. You understand me? Yes. So no matter what religion you belong to, no matter what idea you follow, mm -hmm. if you want to take control of the power and rule your country, you must make sure that your people know your genuinely good intention. 
Don't make people fear you, run away from you, flee from you at all costs, at the cost of their lives and all that. Then you should be ashamed. Right. That's what I say. Yes, Master. You should be ashamed if your citizens flee from you. And if you try to coerce them to stay or use a brutal means to beat them up, to force them to stay or to oppress them, to accept mm -hmm. your policy, your regime, then you're not doing a good job. Then God will see to that. God will not let it be continuously for long. Right. Yeah. Sure. That is my general opinion for any government, that they can measure their power of yeah. convincing of uh, whether or not they have won the heart of their citizens. If not, it doesn't matter how long you sit there. It doesn't matter how big you have become in your position as president or as leader of the country or as prime minister, whatever. The end will not bode well. It's true. That's it. Very simple. Rule with heart. Rule with love. Rule with caring. Rule with genuine compassion for your people. And then the international community will also respect you, support you, and all will be happy and have peace. Yes. Okay? All right. Exactly. Thank you so much, Master, for this You're advice. You're welcome, my love. It's my humble opinion. Okay. <laughs> if anybody even listens. Yes. They, they should listen. Forgiveness to your opposition, your enemy, and caring and loving, genuinely dedicate your life, your heart, your mind to your people. That's how you will win the nation, not with guns, yes. not with muscle, not with oppression and fear tactics. Definitely not. Yes. Right. Thank yes. you, Mela. Thank you, Master. Thank you so much. All right, then. I wish you well. Thank you. I, I wish, wish you, you well, well and be safe, Master. Mm, I wish all of you okay. well.